previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. <laughs> and now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another uh, brand new episode, the final episode of Minecraft Story Mode. I can't wait. The Season 2 final is here. This is going to be the best experience I'm going to see what's going to be going on. I am super pumped. I have no idea what's going to be going on in the beginning. You may hate me this for guys, but I may have already seen the end. But anyways, we're going to try to see what's going on in this story. I didn't see the whole story of this. This is gonna be amazing. You think Zara used this tunnel to get into Beacon Town too? Maybe. I still just can't believe she thinks she can take the admin on alone. I mean, we all knew she was a couple ingots short of a bucket. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Can't help but wonder if she would have been a bit more even keeled if she'd just gotten some darn rest. We've just got a really scary plan as it is. Knowing that at any minute Zara could come along is kind of stressing me out. I think it's really brave that she wants to try and face Romeo. Not everyone has that kind of courage. But is it courage to run into a fight that you're almost definitely not going to win? That just seems dumb. Yeah, I agree. But there are a lot of people who would call what we're doing dumb. If she tries to confront Romeo before we can take his powers away, that'll be bad for everyone. I'm just glad yeah. friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... That heck mouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be. But I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, but we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> Luna's in too. <laughs> Luna's so adorable. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, geez, all those bats. That is crazy. Ooh, I gotta finish achievement. Uh, into the ruins. Oh, we just came in the entrance. That's uh, interesting. No. What? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's a tower of Romeo. Uh, that's obvious. That's pretty much obvious. Where are all the people? Oh, there's a guard right there. Not good. Um. So we gotta think of a plan to stop this. Stop Romeo. Oh jeez. Don't hurt them. 
He killed the pig? For our, like, celebration of, like, Ruben. Oh, those golems are gonna die. I hate those golems. Now I'm starting to hate them. Mm -hmm. I hate those golems. Wow. This is not good. What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's the only thing to go there. in there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. That might be a good yeah. idea. Yeah, that sounds good. It's good idea to have supplies when you need a battle. Uh, oh, am I supposed to walk? Oh, we're gonna walk. We gotta be silent. <gasps> Shoot! Admin. Yep, there's the admin. And he's with Axel and Olivia. Oh no. We gotta hide. Eek. <sighs> Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. And I yep. guess we just can't get caught. We gotta be like sneaky ninjas. Why just like... exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. Wait, what are you... Oh, jeez. Put that hand down, Romeo. Zara... Uh, I mean... Do I know you? Zara... What is she doing? Oh, jeez, Zara. What the heck? Me, Romeo. Whatever Jesse here told you, it's all a lie. No, no, no. I'm afraid that's where you stop talking. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We need to save her. We need to save her. Can we please just save her? Oh, not good. That was... Uh, wow. I had hoped there was still a chance of redeeming Romeo. No, I'm not so sure. Oh, no. Just... Zara's... gone. I know this looks really bad, but there's gotta still be some hope that we can get through to him, somehow. You sound a lot more sure than I feel, Jesse. <laughs> I think I've proven my point. You will stay in Beacon Town, and you will continue to be my friends. Got it? You. You. Don't answer. I know you do. Now, we have a festival to prepare for. Speaking of, Stella, you're going to have my fireworks display ready, yes? Yes, admin. Uh, mm. Jesse. Very good. You're gonna I die, think Romeo. Distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. Oh, jeez. Oh, Sarah. How I wish it didn't have to end that way. <sighs> Psst. Olivia. Axel. Oh, jeez. He's looking. Don't. 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 Oh, make. I knew it. I just knew it. <laughs> Whoa. Am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse, I... what is... Come on, I'll explain everything, but we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. Oh, Zara, no. I'm not sure if you guys are hearing any echo sounds or kind of like fuzzy sounds in the background. I apologize for that. I should have said it in the beginning, but I apologize. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath a bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? 
I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Yeah. The po hashtag potato something. I Petra. forgot. Why is she upset? Are, are you okay? She's starting to have feelings for me, I think, like that last video. I, I, I can't last... believe Zara just rushed in blind like that. Well, what was she thinking? Zara was complicated, but she didn't deserve that. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's going to pay for. Bad so for glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In That's the how we gotta stop the admin with the hashtag a word of passage. Hashtag potato four five one. Yes, that's the one. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. Oh, this is uh, your shop? Nermy doesn't have to see the old. Oh, I didn't. Even, yeah, I, that might make sense. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. Nothing to worry about. We've got our best fighter here with us. As much as I appreciate the <coughs> completely accurate compliment, this is the admin we're talking about. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. Well, you guys do that. I'm gonna keep watch. Good idea, Petra. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of you. Alright, so... Explore the shop. Explore the max shop. But before you do that, I gotta say this is that... I... Am... Shocked... That X... That Zara... Died, or... Poofed out of here. Something. I have no idea if she's still alive. That was sad. Zara is like the nicest person to help us. Even though that she was a little bit cranky, she did help us out to get out of that bottom under below the bedrock thing, which is in the last episode. And she helped us find a way to get that thing done as possible. I, I wish in the last episode I would have given her the bed. Uh, that was kind of sad. I, man. Also, I believe in Jesse, no matter what. He, if he doesn't, he never gives up. He never gives up. He knows what he's doing, and I like this guy. Even though the, there are different Jessies in the world, or in the game. Not in the world, what I said. Like, different Jessies in the game. I still believe him. And no matter what, we can work this together. And I think we are going to, because there's not going to be an end of the world, pretty much. But, uh, let's just look at these heads. Oh. Surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. Yeah, Jack is thinking the same thing. I'm gonna talk to Jack and see how he's doing. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. I know, right? And I agree. Gone. Everything ransacked. Hey, it's just stuff, right? You can replace it. I guess that's true. Yeah, I mean... Some of it was pretty valuable, irreplaceable stuff, though. Oh, Kinda yeah. Like part of my identity. Yeah, I, yeah. I know how that feels. I yeah. Me too. I suppose you do. Huh. Valuables in for the something meantime, in a museum or... Looking around. Or something... There's something useful in here yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're happy, Jack. As I was saying, is that I agree what Jack was saying. All the valuable stuff. I would go completely chaotic if someone destroys my valuables if I was selling it. Oh, actually, you know what? I probably would have kept it, but I don't know. It could be more valuable when you kept some things. Like I was young, I have like these like baseball cards, and they're pretty valuable, but. I'm not sure how valuable are there. It's you know, I was young when I had those. My grandfather gave them to me, which which was nice. Uh, there's bookcases. Let me talk to uh, Binta. See what she what she. Uh, hey, Binta, wants. adjusting okay? 
Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We, we are. Will. No more. We, we are going to def... Yeah, of we course. are. I can't even actually get to speak. Jeez. We are going to defeat Romeo. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. All right, maybe some bookcakes how we get information on what we need I think to do. We're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Oh, come on. Reading's a good thing for your mind. Plus, also helps you learn English. <laughs> okay, so reading is not the option. I want to see how Petra's doing. See if there's anyone out there. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. Good idea. Yeah. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Zara, I'm a little more aware of how vulnerable we are, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. <sighs> From Zara and I dying, I still have weird feelings in my stomach that I kind of feel get of I found it kind of feel like that was not supposed to happen to Zara what she did and that was kind of a bad decision to do it even though that wasn't my fault and it wasn't her fault she did get killed I still have like painful feelings in my gut that happened to her I know that's kind of sound weird and I'm not part of the game but yeah suck Luna maybe she's all right I want to see okay Luna <laughs> yeah I know it's scary we're gonna get through it though Poor llama. Hmm. Luna is so adorable. She's like, I love her fancy dress. She is so adorable. Wait, there's a lever we can put? Okay, before I do levers, I want to talk to these guys. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? Uh, where's Lucas? Oh yeah, I want to know where Luna happened to Lucas. Around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... He's just been missing. Oh, kind of went underground. I'm, I'm sure he's okay though. I'm hoping so. Did the admin reveal anything? Uh, why are you guys here? I need to get back. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything about a terminal? Maybe. No. The guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? Why are you guys here? I mean, I'm... Yeah, in the beginning, they said we were going to go do something, but I wonder why they came over here, and how did they get over here this what quick? What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh... We heard something weird was going on. Her? I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> yeah. Although, wait, did Jack have to like that map thing? I think it's been destroyed. There's a parrot. I want to go check that out. Wow. <laughs> I was worried all the parrots had left Beacon Town. Who, Archie? No, he'd never leave. Oh, oh that's that yours? Watching him for a friend. Let's just leave it at that. Watching for a friend. Oh, wait. Was this friend part of the uh, group, like he said in the beginning, that he was part of the, uh, that was going in when Voss died, even though that wasn't actually really Voss in the beginning, that was the admin, pretending to be a boss? That's probably why. Okay, so there's a lever. Is there anything else I missed? Nothing there. Okay, so we can't go that down there. So anything else, like on tables? Any, uh, oh, wait. Open chest. Let's see what we got. Maybe just something useful we can use. Looks like the admin's looters were thorough. There's nothing here. Great. Not good. That means every, probably every chest is empty. Wait, Luna has a chest. Why can't we just open hers and see what she got? She might have got something useful. That I would I would think this, I would probably you all probably will think the same thing as well. Like I'm not sure if anyone have you noticed it, but I noticed it somehow. I'm not sure if anyone has. Um Okay, anything else? No? Nothing? Is that it? All right, I guess we just gotta pull this lever. Is it a secret door, I wonder? Why is my mouse not, there we go. I'm guessing it's gonna be a secret lever. Let's see. Yeah. Yep, secret door with- <gasps> Hey, Jack. The Elytra. Tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. 
That's one of the most rare things to have. Wings. Those are super rare. Yep, yeah. super rare. Got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. The uh, end city, that's where you what got it. What's that? What's going on? Oh, is it? Oh. What is that? Am I going to go toward it? Why do I have to go toward it? Why do I have to go toward it? Jeez. Oh my god, Norm! Normie! Norm? What? <laughs> Wait. Why? I'm never letting you out of my sight again, Norm. Never again. Wait, what? <laughs> what about the trap? <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah. Ah. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there? <laughs> Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? <laughs> that is a nice outfit. Ivor, you are the best. Thank you! Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh, do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Hey, you're pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just play it cool around him. Right, right, cool. Cool. I, I, I can do cool. <laughs> He's just like Petra when he met Jack. Right. Sup? <laughs> yes. I am Ivor. And you are? They call me... This... <laughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes. Hi. Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. You fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about you rotting away in prison forever? Big success. Oh yeah, and I remember that we said that. the for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. I'm just saying that. I'm just Hero, Nerm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nerm. The Sunshine Rock. <laughs> now that nice. the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Yeah. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes. I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot. That's the first question we need to ask. Is it guarded? Let me guess. There's guards, right? Yes, yes. Mm, Though I, I requested figured. a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol the place. Yeah, those yes. are more like mean golems. You sure we can't, like, reason Bad golems, with this admin actually. guy? You know I'm talking out? You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. You're kidding, right? After everything I've told you about him, you still think we could just talk to him? I don't know. I just, I just, uh, look. You know, you taught me how to talk about things more. I don't know. You are way more reasonable than the admin, Axel. True. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Before rather not trust the admin, admin, even though that we just need a distraction. He did destroy Zara. That was kind Maybe of that was kind of really like bad. Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon. That sounds great, but. Elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> yeah. Do with fireworks. Yep, that's correct. I tested that before in my single player world. That's what it Norm, actually does. You get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. You betcha. He's got this. Let's do it. We got a plan. Alright. Let's see what Here's the plan is. The plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait. Isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Mm -hmm. Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella and she shows us where they are. <laughs> what the heck? I'll grab them. We suit up and boom, backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. 
Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Whoa! Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. Then the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato 451 to strip the admin of his powers. What the heck? He even knows we See? Piece of cake. That uh, <laughs> might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. That was Jesse, awesome. This could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This dude just really loves explosions. He <laughs> just really loves his explosions. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. You're wrong. Stella might have caused a lot of trouble in the past, but I know I got through to her in the Sunshine Institute. We can trust her. Sure hope you're right about that. Yeah, let's hope. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Yeah, that might be a good point. Oh, wow. We were wearing those clothes the whole entire time. <laughs> Jesse, I know you think Stella's on our side, but you can't trust her, okay? Be careful. I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. That might be a good One idea. Of admin coming up. I can do this.